every journey is a series of choices. The first is to begin the journey. Huh. Well, uh... Huh. This is, uh... This is interesting. I see. Hello, everybody! This is Antichamber! Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, so, how are you guys doing today? I'm starting a new series in Antichamber. What an intro, right? <laughs> Did I scare you? So, uh... <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Antichamber. A new game I'm going to be playing. I looked into this game when it originally came out, but I actually never got around to buying it. So I have to give a special thank you to a friend of mine named Anna Terrace. Um, she saw that I had this game on my Steam wish list, and I had just never got around to buying it on any sales or anything. And out of the blue, just out of nowhere, she gave it to me and said, You know what? I bet this game would really mess you up, and I want to see you play it. So I was thinking, you know, she wants me to lose my mind, she wants me to go insane, because this place is just going to drive me nuts. So, uh, yeah, enough with the pleasantries. Let's, uh, let's go get destroyed. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Up. And numbers. Ooh. You hear that? It's like a crackling sound. Jump. Nothing happened. So, uh, I have seen a few videos about this game. Um, I watched uh, Cube Hamster play this when it came out, and I really enjoyed watching his series on it, but I never got around to watching the ending, because I didn't want to see how the game ends. And I wanted to kind of find it out on my own. So, I want to see what this says. Oh, it's the wee little baby. Taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. <laughs> well, the first step was getting around to recording the series and actually buying the game, so I think I'm off to a good start. Thanks, by the way. Uh, what's over here? Oh, that almost got me. <laughs> I was actually looking over here, and then I noticed that. Uh, can I get around it? What is this, actually? Whoa, whoa! Where did I go? What the hell? What the heck was that? Oh, it's the stairs. Well, that's cool. Can I? I want to read that though. Can I get over there? Can I jump it? Oh, I can't. Okay, we gotta go back down there after. That scared me. We often fall into things when we least. Yeah, you don't. You don't say. Um, I don't know what's over there. What's over here? Is this something? I can't get over it. Okay, we'll ignore that for now. Um over here? Is this anything? Or is this just a wall? Oh no, it's not a wall. I'm leaving. Uh, looks like somebody had uh, a little bit of trouble with some vandals. A dead, uh, no, a dead end will only stop you if you don't try to move through it. Okay, I'll keep that. In, oh, that's good. I'll keep that in mind for the future. Thank you very much. Pumamal, Pumamal, what's Pumamal? I'm scared. Oh, 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 can I land it? Oh, yeah. Landed perfectly. Oh, I hear a clock. Oh, we'll over there after. The end. But I want to keep playing, man. I want to know what that says, but I guess we can't go through this yet. Interesting sound effect. So I love this game. This, this game is amazing. And, oh, okay, there's a bridge. I guess we can go back. We can go down there after. So let's keep going this way. We'll see where this takes us. <laughs> uh, oh, I see a rabbit. Yes, I am a rabbit kind of guy. I see the rabbit. Not the duck. The rabbit. How we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. So if I go over there and look at the end, it's going to be a completely different problem. <laughs> well, what the heck? Holy. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to go through it when you're looking at the eye. Ha, huh, tricky. E L I F. E a leaf? A leaf? A leaf? Ooh, a puppy. Oh, who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Yes, you are. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Oh, get a room, you two. Oh, that thing looks so cool. I don't know what it is, but it's mesmerizing. Holy crap. The precious. The precious block. 
Whoa. That's cool. I don't know. Can I go through this? No, I can't. Okay. Plus I equals... <laughs> one plus one equals window. I get it. There's no chair. Uh, do I go go this way? Oh no no this way. This way. oh no no that that way. Oh oh and then, no no oh, okay. Whoa. Oh what the that thing looks like a huh? That thing looks like it's a person being hung on against the wall with their arms coming through. This thing's holding them. Their heads probably leaning down, and then they got some kind of like monster book trying to eat them. Oh, look, a chair. Uh, I don't know what that is. Ooh. Atoms. Oh, look, like a stone kind of structure thing. <laughs> look, squares. Ooh. This looks like a Windows screen. Hmm. That's confusing. <laughs> hey, look. It globe. This is a globe. Kids these days do not know what this is because they never learned globe or purpose of globe. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Hello, kid of these days. <laughs> That's wonky looking. Hello, kid of these days. Which way? This way? Clock. I wonder if the time changes. Oh, anyway. I wonder what this stuff's for. You know, I bet this is, uh, like, you basically, when the gravity goes away, because, you know, it's anti-chamber and that totally works, not anti-gravity, um, I bet a stick comes out and then, like, to get around the room, you kind of have to hold it, because there's no gravity for you to walk on and stuff like that. Oh, what the heck? What's this? What does this say? When you absorb your surroundings, you may notice things that you didn't see before. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I absorbed this entire room. Oh, uh, look, an axis. I hate math. That looks like a particle cannon. Yeah, so this place is pretty cool. But I want to go back and uh, keep looking around here. Uh, I'll come back to this later. But yeah, there's just so much to this game. It's amazing. Wee Geronimo! Splash! That should be a lemming, not a sheep. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress, because when you hit a dead end, the only reason it's a dead end is if you don't continue going through it. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's jump. Never mind. I hear birds. I guess I'm going on vacation early. <laughs> oh, man. Listen to all those sounds that have been stacked on top of each other for the effect in this tunnel. It's amazing. Oh. They did a really good job with this game. Some paths are clearer than others. Well, yeah, because I had a dead end, I guess. I have to go this way. Oh, hey, look! It's two stairs. Um, so, which one should I take? Caboose or Sarge? <laughs> if you get that, you're cool. I'll go with Sarge. Hey! We're back! A choice may be as simple as going left or going right. Well, I took left last time. Let's go right this time. Because I'm sure right is the right direction. Hey! We're back! The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. Well, I guess let's... See, you know, th th this actually comes back to the whole thing about, you know, did the ends justify the means? <laughs> Because if you come to the same ends but different means, one possibly being immoral and the other one possibly being moral, you gotta ask yourself, am I making the right choice to get to the same solution? And I say yes. So let's keep going down the red tunnel and see if anything changes. So from what I can tell, nothing's been added. There's still the two pictures. So yeah, this game, uh, I, I really like the game. The art style, the whole making you think about reality type of thing. It's it's very interesting, and I bet you're wondering yourself right now, how long is he going to keep going down these stairs and keep talking <laughs> before he gets tired of actually just doing that? Well, you'd be surprised. I'm actually very curious to see where the cut is, because this is like the loop card where it basically loops a portion of reality and making it fold on top of each other on top of itself I should say so that you keep going down the same path over and over again but in order to do that there would have to be a split in reality that becomes folded on top of each other 
And I'm, I'm just kind of curious at what point that would be. I'm guessing it would be the turn, because if it was continuous staircase, there wouldn't need, there would, there would be no need for this bend. See, oh look at that, it changed. When you return to where you've been, things aren't always as remembered. So I'm guessing if I go that way, the stairs won't be the same. <laughs> oh, this place is cool. It's like a rainbow. Whoa, a door. Oh, just look at, like, it's, it's a very interesting art design that they've done. You can see different shapes and just what you can do with lines and a bit of color is amazing. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. Ooh, the door closed. Can I open it again? Nope. I like how it changes the purple. That's purple's awesome color. Escape. Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. Oh, hey, the door's gone. It changed to escape. Well, this isn't a dead end. This is obviously a simple, you know, I gotta go through it, like that other sign said, so. The I. No. I won't bend to your will, man. You can't make me do it. I won't do it! I won't listen to- ah, okay, fine, I'll do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, we're back here. <laughs> Holy crap, what are you? Are you a fabric of reality? Am I back in Minecraft? Are you looking at me? Are you an eye? Are you a ukulele? No, wait, not a ukulele. Uh, what's that thing that makes music called? Ah, whatever. I wonder what that is. I'm oh, I really want to know what that is. I think that has repercussions on the reality of this game because it kind of phased this entire room, the exit. Maybe that's like a guard and I'm in, I don't know, some kind of hell. Anyway, um, ooh. If you don't like where you've ended up, try doing something else. I guess that's like life, but I ain't having a midlife crisis right now. So yeah, that's antechamber. And I have a time limit? Oh man, I didn't know, okay. We gotta be more careful. So, <laughs> oh, this is the map. I'm guessing this whole thing has to get filled up. Oh, actually, I bet that's it. That goes the same for this thing. It'd be nice to see this complete at the end. Huh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, short segment of Antichamber. I'll be doing episodes every week, of course, and I'm gonna try and keep them as close to 10 minutes as possible. It's definitely one of those games I can just keep running my mouth on and talking. It's um. It's something that I very enjoy. It, it's one of the things that kind of just plucks at your brain and makes you, kind of makes you think and observe your surroundings and changes your view of reality. But for me, the type of person I am, I, my reality is, I, I think of it as being fluid. I can react to my surroundings. The way I think is very adjustable. Basically, uh, an action to a reaction or a reaction from an action type of thing. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this journey with me as we make our way to the exit of this place and get back to some kind of sanity. And I'll catch you crazy kids next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.